Hello and welcome to another video. In this video we're going to talk about what an ISO file is and how to make them. Uh, and in particular we're going to talk about how to make them with a program called Anybody. As you can see on the screen here I'm on a page, uh, on a web page called anyburn.com and this is the software that we're going to talk about and use in this video. Uh, the reason I've chosen this one is um, as you can see in this sort of reddish colour here it says it's completely free to use for both home and business use and the other reason is I've been trying it for a while now and it's worked perfectly for me so far uh, and it's really easy to use and very quick to download and install so absolutely no reason to do it. I can't tell you it's the best software on the planet, it might be, it might not be, I don't know but I can tell you that this is a pretty good choice. So first of all we should talk about what an ISO file is. Um, so an ISO file that's just the extension of the file and it's used to create identical copies of CD-ROMs or DVD-ROMs uh, whatever the case may be. So the contents of a CD-ROM uh, if you look in there it will look like there's files and folders in there um, but actually an identical copy of it would contain the actual file system itself and the only way to uh, make that exact copy is to use a piece of software like this um, uh, to create that ISO file and what do we need an ISO file for? Well um, in the context of the videos that I make uh, I've made a number of videos on emulators such as VMware, uh, PCM, VirtualBox uh, with operating systems being emulated such as Windows 98, Windows 95, Windows Next XP etc. And sometimes what we might want to do is uh, emulate a CD-ROM um, image uh, pretending it's a real CD-ROM so that the operating, consist, uh, the operating system can use that CD-ROM as if it is a real CD-ROM. I hope that's clear. Now sometimes when we can just download uh, files which are already ISO files and we can attach them to those uh, emulators and they work straight away but sometimes we might want to download uh, a file and it's not an ISO image and we need to, uh, we need to create it uh, as an ISO image ourselves uh, so that we can attach it and use it within that operating system uh, and that's where the software Anybone comes in. So for example, uh, let's just have a look. Right, I'm going to delete that. But here we have a file that I downloaded earlier. And what that is, is um, it's a driver for a Voodoo 2 graphics accelerator card. And we're going to be using that driver in a video that I've started making already. Uh, which is using PCM with Windows 98 using Voodoo 2 graphics acceleration. So that will be coming up. Uh, but we'll need to use, we'll need to download this driver. And in order to use it within that operating system, we'll need to um, make turn it into an ISO file. And really that's what this video is about. So I'm going to demonstrate how that can be done. So let's go back to this anyburn.com webpage and if we just click on download now um, I'm running Windows 10 64-bit edition so I'm going to choose this one here but you could be running a 32-bit operating system you have to check that yourself um, so I'm just going to download that it's already downloaded it's very quick and I'm going to agree to the terms and conditions I'm just going to leave the destination folder as the default once this is completed I'll click next and I'm going to leave these two boxes here ticked as default um, so this is going to launch the the program straight after I click on close so that brings up this window here and at first it might seem a little confusing with all of these window all of these buttons here but the only one we're going to be interested in uh, on this occasion is this one here, create image file from files and folders. So I'm going to click on there and this window here is the one that we're interested in. We want to put all of the files and folders that we want to add to that ISO uh, file or that ISO image depending on how you want to put it. 
So I'm going to click on add and I'm going to choose this file that we are using as an example. OK, so I'm going to click add. Uh, you could add as many files and folders in here as you wanted, but this is all we need for this example. I'm going to click on next and it's going to ask where we want to save that. Well, I'm just going to save that in the downloads folder. Uh, you might want to do it somewhere more sensible yourself, but that will do now for as an example. So I'm going to call it voo do to driver. Uh, I might as well put the extension on. It would probably do that automatically, but just to be on the safe side, I'll do it. Click on save and then click on create now. And it uh, has finished. So let's click exit. Now if I go back to yeah, here we go. So I'm going to just delete these here. These are the uh, AnyBurn setup files that I've downloaded to install it. But this is what it's just created. That's the file that we downloaded earlier and created an ISO uh, file with it. And this here is what we just created. So that now we can attach to an emulator with Windows 98, for example, and we can use it. So let's do that now, uh, uh, just to show you the whole way through, show you it working. Uh, so just give me a moment and I'll be back. So this is something that I've already set up because that is not in the scope of this video. Uh, but I've used PCM to create uh, an emulation of Windows 98 SE. And so I'm just going to start uh, that emulation, that operating system. I'm just going to fast forward this and I'll be back once the operating system is ready and waiting for us. OK, so we're nearly there. Right, so at the top here we've got CD-ROM and we want to load an image and we'll just, I saved this in downloads as we just discussed a second ago, as you saw me do, and there's the file. So I can double click on that and now, if we go into my computer, we should see the CD-ROM and we should see that there's something attached to it. So as far as this operating system is concerned, it thinks that there is a real CD-ROM in a real CD-ROM driver uh, and it's the one that we just attached. So let's just double click on there and have a look and you'll see that's the same file. So just to show you, if we go in here again, um, let's see if we can get that. We can see that the file that's inside this ISO file is exactly the same name. So whatever we add, whatever contents we put in there for the ISO file is what you'll see in the CD-ROM drive. So that's it. Um, I don't need to do anything with this file now. It was just as an, as an example to show you what to do. Um, and so that was a pretty short video and there's not a great deal more to say. So we're going to leave it there. But um, I will say that this uh, PCM uh, Windows 98 with Voodoo 2 acceleration video is coming. Um, I've recorded most of it I'm kind of at the editing stage, uh, but it's still quite a bit of work. Uh, but hopefully in the next week or two um, I can launch the video and it would be great if you could let me know what you think. Um, any questions about this video or future videos, please don't hesitate to ask. I'll do my best to answer them. Until then, I will see you next time. Bye for now.